Good morning, devotees. Get it? No? Today we are on day 22 of traveling through Tavat with the ultimate end goal of saving 100,000 Primo Gems. We recently got to AR50 and completed the final ascension domain and raised our world level to 7. With Genshin's version 3.1 coming to an end, we completed an adventurer's trial event and got a limited time Primo Gems. We still have to finish the fungi event and do the photography event so we can complete all of the events. So now we're currently sitting at 28,765 Primo Gems, just a little bit over 28% of the way to our final goal of 100,000. We're very close to reaching our small goal of 30k primos before this version ends. And there are still a few events left that will most likely give us a final push through our goal. Um, if you're wondering why I'm swinging this sword aggressively on this monolith, stick around because you'll find out later in the video. So I start out my day by hanging out with Catherine. First, I jump off a cliff and had an intense battle against the Helicho family. They were in the middle of cooking a slime alive, so I ended the slime's misery by disposing of it. Next, I did a simple time trial and reached the target location easily. After that, I had to swim to an island and battle against some of the Helichos. Since we're in the middle of the ocean, I booped the Pyro Abyss Mage down into the ocean and successfully drowned it. Lastly, I prevented evil from spreading by defeating some Helichos and Abyss Mages. The Jewel Samachor was a bit sneaky by hiding on top of their constructs, but my Lisa burst shocked them down from a platform, so we successfully collected the 60 Primo Gems from Catherine, and I impressed her by running all over her desk. So continuing on from the last video, first I decided to complete a Pokemon. Oh, I mean Fungi event. I went to capture the last two fungi from the wild, and raise them up to get ready for the semi-finals and finals of the fungus tournament. Before that, we met Dory in the wild and talked to her for a little bit, before continuing on to the fungi tournament. We quickly won the two rounds, and advanced into the semi-finals against Layla. The outcome was still the same, and we defeated her fungi pretty easily. Next, I solved some jelly puzzles to power up my recently captured fungi before challenging Hanya in the finals. After defeating Hanya, we gave her a lesson about friendship and trust with a fungi, but we ran into the Fatuis. The other fungi got brainwashed, so our Hydro Fungus Bungle had soloed them and returned them back to their senses. And together, the fungi single-handedly defeated the Fatuis. Honestly, I really hope this event comes back and get a rerun. And the next time, we get to actually keep the fungi as our own pet, or even companions for our teapot. Because with the journey we've been through, Genshin should have let us at least kept Bungo Head. Anyways, after the tournament, we were crowned the champion, and we had to release all the fungi we've captured during the event. And by releasing it, I meant Hanya got to keep all of them. So after releasing the fungi, they immediately came back to me when I was finishing up the special training missions. But hey, it's nice to see Bungo Head and all its friends back. It took me around 30 minutes or so to complete all of the stages, and at the end, I got to collect all the overdue primo gems and buy out everything from the event shop. Oh, at least. Cool. We get a model instead of the real fungi. But seriously though, where's Bungohead, Hoyovers? We also got to exchange for Dory, a character that will help us immensely on this account since we are not pulling on any banners. So we'll be farming for her essential materials to prepare her for the spiral of this in the future. Alright, now it's time for the game plan. We just finished the main version 3.2 fungus event, and got our brand new 4 star character Dory. So this means we can start farming for her essential materials and leveling her up. I'm still in the process of raising Xiangling right now, so I'll focus on Dory after I'm done with Xiangling. I still have to get to exploration since for the majority of 3.2, I just played catch up and completed some Inazuma world quests and story quests. And a lot of you guys mentioned in the comments that I should start focusing on exploring and getting my exploration progress to 100%. Since looking at my progress right now, it's pretty sad to see, so hopefully I can get to that soon. There are also new events that's gonna come out with the rest of the 3.2 patch, so we're gonna try to be completing all those events as well before it goes away. For our exploration goals, we still have to get our frost bearing tree to max level, but since we could collect the crimson agates with the crimson wish quests, we don't have to run around trying to find them in the overworld, so we should be able to complete the quest relatively quick. We are also continuing with the Inazuma reputation and dailies for the level 9 reputation rewards that will award us with the treasure compass, which will help us discover missing chests in Inazuma and of course more primo gems for our collection. Also there are weeklies that I would like to complete, so hopefully I can get more people to co-op and carry me through these. 
But yeah, if you have any suggestions on what I should be focusing on next, feel free to chip in and comment down below to let me know and I'll feature your comment in the next video. Alright, so first things first, we'll complete the canvas event where we need to go around to certain sceneries to take photos of our characters using specific elements and attacks, which rewards like 30 primo gems per photo. However, before we start, we needed to complete the snapshots quest in order to get a camera, spelled with a K. So to do so, I headed to Liyue and talked to Xu and accepted the quest. While doing so, this Millerleth soldier just interrupted me in the middle of a sentence and stood between Xu and I. Well that's rude. This Millerleth just came up to me and stood in my way now. Did you seriously just push me? You mother. How did you even complete this quest? Where is it? I have so many quests I haven't completed. I should honestly spend one day just complete them. Alright, it's in the world quest section, right? Wait, snapshot. On the stage, behind the stage. Okay, no wonder. What is this? On the stage, behind the stage. I have so many quests, I don't even know which quest is locking like me out. Is it this thing? So today is my unlucky day, since after I got pushed by the Millerleth, an NPC was kidnapped and involved in another quest. So I had to quickly complete a world quest first in order to unlock the snapshot world quest to get my camera. I actually haven't done this world quest even on my main before, so I was taken by surprise when Yunjin showed up. Wait! Why is Yunjin here? Anyways, after that we finished the world quest and we could finally proceed to do the snapshot quest to get our own camera. But this happened again. Okay, <laughs> this, this middle left is like trolling me or something. He just keeps on standing in front of me while I'm like talking or something. Okay, I'm never gonna do your world quest just because you did that. Okay. Well, Jai. You might need my help, but you've gone too far this time. See, even she is scared of you. <clears throat> Lost my cool for a second there. Anyways, we got through the world quest and got ourselves a camera so we could finally start the canvas event. Well, the canvas event was pretty simple. First, I quick started the event since I still have some prerequisite quests that I didn't bother to complete. We just had to go to certain locations and take pictures of our characters in a certain pose. There are requirements such as my character must be a bow user and use a charge attack at the same time when I take the pictures in order to complete them. After following the directions and going to every scenery, you are basically rewarded with 30 primo gems and other things like moras and exp books alongside each category. So for completing the event, we got 420 primo gems total. Next, I had some people joining my co-op for my Twitch streams so they could come and carry me against the Electro Regisvine boss, who I needed to farm in order to ascend Dory. The fight was a breeze, especially with Ganyu in our team. Next, we went into the Inazuma artifact domain to farm up some emblem sets. Although we didn't get anything good this time, the most important part was the friends we made along the way. So if you ever want to help me along in my artifact grinding session, make sure to follow my Twitch and join my live streams while I'm live. Oh, and also, our Ganyu accidentally claim the rewards, so comment L for the Ganyu are missing out jumping with us for the camera. Next we collected the last few Crimson Agates by completing the Crimson Wish quests. Since they are located in Dragonspine, it's a hassle when I don't have any pyro characters raised, especially at world level 7. So with the co-op members, we rushed through them pretty quickly. With the last Crimson Agates collected, we finally leveled up our Dragonspine Frostbearing Tree to level 12 and obtained our very own glider. And more importantly, a crown to start maxing out talent levels for our characters. After that, we went to complete our weeklies. The Inazuma reputation was honestly pretty challenging. The Electro Lava Troll Sparky is very thick, so we actually struggled against it. Okay, I dashed. I use my iframe to like avoid that attack but i blame the pink 166 we also did a weekly child beating but since i relied on my teammates too much i looked away from the screen so being absent-minded as i am i got wailed on i wasn't paying attention <laughs> wait how how is rc dead as well <laughs> I had to try hard and not get killed again for the final phase, and we cleared it pretty quickly afterwards. We also got a dream solving for the trouble. Since I had some leftover resins the next day, I gathered up another group of people to come help and farm Xiangling Talent Material Domain this time. With the power of friendship, we farmed the domain pretty easily.
Even though I could clear all of these domains by myself, it just takes a bit more time. So I'm honestly very thankful for being able to co-op and get more of the tedious farming out of the way. So once again, thanks to all the people that joined me from Twitch. With version 3.2 at its final stretches, we will most likely obtain 30,000 Primo Gems. Right now, we are sitting at 29,890 Primo Gems. So we are essentially 30% of the way to our final goal of 100,000. That being said, with 3.3 coming in less than a week, I'm going to try and get 50k before the end of that patch. So we'll look back today in 2 months to see whether or not we achieve that result. That being said, our final goal of 100,000 is still a pipe dream, but my bet with you guys isn't. In case you haven't heard, I'm making a bet on whether this account will reach 100k free to play primos first, or my YouTube channel getting 150k subs first. If I fail to reach 100k free to play primos on this account, then I'll have to will 100k primos on another account. I already lost a previous bet, but so far I'm sitting pretty comfortable since the milestone is a distance away. But if you ever want to make my wallet cry or just support my Genshin series, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.